Hello my Sagittariuses and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie and yes I am Debbie. We're going to read for the 10th, 11th, 12th, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I've done all of my my overview and everything like that on the uh, breakthrough video so please take a look and you know I you know, do a reading for what's going on in the world. I do the planets what's going on in the world so take a look and I tell you also that these are general readings that may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay, my Sages? All right, so I don't know if I'm picking up some Sagittariuses in general, but, you know, I know that you have been going, 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 going. Let's keep going with the goings. And you might need to, I don't know, I, I would love to tell you to take a rest and that you need to take a break, but I just keep seeing you go, 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 go. There's a lot on your plate right now, and this weekend will continue with that. So, so some words, some words I will tell you is, <laughs> try to sleep when you can sleep. Try to rest when you can rest. Eat healthy. I do feel like you're going so quick that you're just like, you know, like scarfing things down. I want you to slow things down a little bit more. And I want you to um, just take care of yourself a little more, okay? Because I do, because too much of this is not healthy. But again, it's like going, 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 going. Let's keep going. Okay, let's see. Higher power. What else for our Sagittariuses? There's a lot that you want to accomplish. There's a lot you want to do. And I'm not telling you not to do any of this. Um, I, I do feel like there is an increased zest in your living, zest kind of like, uh, you know, just just something that's really pushing you forward. There might be some people finishing up some of their schoolwork, some of their, you know, their, um, I don't know, getting ready for graduation, getting ready for uh, maybe making some final preparations, maybe getting married, you know, it's just kind of like you're getting ready you're getting, you, you, it's like you need to just prep and get it all done. <sighs> and then maybe you'll be able to rest. No, not really. Okay, everything is uh, face down. These two are reversed. First card for my Sagittarius is, well, this is good. You know, I love some Six of Earth. Six of Earth is always about unexpected money coming in. Maybe this is what you've been working so hard for. This could be a bonus. This could be a promotion. That, But again, You've been putting a lot of energy to obtain this. This could be your business that you've been, you know, you've been working, what would it be, 18 hours a day on. So six is the number of man. It's the energy you put into something. Earth is our Capricorn, our Taurus, and our Virgo energy. It is money, job, career, and you know Tau Taurus, and Bur uh, Taurus and Capricorn have a lot going on right now. So while um, Pluto has been tearing a lot of things down in Capricorn, it's coming to that point where it's going to start doing some buildup. It's going to be giving a return. And I feel like, my Sages, you have to just kind of like open your purse, open your wallet, open your whatever it is, and just, you know, say to God, source, fill it up. Fill it up. Because this is, again, unexpected, unexpected money. And at the same time, it's money that you have earned. So... What does that all mean? I can't, you know, it's like you, you, maybe you've been, like I said, working these 18 hour days and now there is a payday. Maybe it's also because earth is energy that's not always about money. Maybe it's you're going to be giving a gift of maybe some stock shares, things like that. And again, I don't do financial advice. I'm just giving you some examples. It might even be um, some type of, like I said, some type of a degree, something that you have earned. So it's it's not unexpected, but it is it is at the same time. I don't know why there's that, but it, you've been working towards it, and maybe it's kind of like, oh, I finally achieved it even. Okay, so gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debt. Again, I keep feeling your, I feel like you're, um, you're going, 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 going. Here we go. Next card is the Page of Water. Well, this is a lovely card. Now, underlying energy of the page is Earth. So we have the Earth energy, the money, job, career. Water energy is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, fluid and emotional. The Neptune and Pisces, that hidden energy is what I'm picking up right now. So again, it might be hidden 
the hidden reason somebody that's been thinking about you for promotion or wanting wanting to hire you or steal you away from another job okay the page also has a very romantic energy so it could be even somebody that's trying to steal you away from um, from someone that you are in a committed relationship with okay so it might be very flattering but I, I'm going to tell you, take a little time with that. Don't You don't necessarily have to jump off the boat for this one, okay? But the Page of Water, Page is loving energy. Um, the Page is, new, is, is very youthful energy, I should put it this way. The Page of Water is a loving energy, romantic energy. The Page of Water is kind of like, you know, the Page of Water looks, does not look before she, he leaps, okay? So just be a little bit careful with that. I feel like somebody wants to steal you away. Um, it doesn't mean that you're going to jump. It doesn't mean that you're, you know, but the thing about this, my Sag, is you could be flattered. You could be flattered. And if you're in a committed relationship, ah, that other person may not necessarily look at it as, you know, with the much, as much of, with, with a sense of humor like you do. Okay. So page of water is intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. But I will tell you, if this is, if you are in a committed uh, relationship, um, my sages, you're going to to pique the other partner's interest a little bit more. Okay, and that will be kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Let's see what we've got here. Next card is. The page of earth. Well, this is earth, earth energy, money, money energy, job, job energy, because the page is underlying energy, earth, earth. So this is, again, this has a lot of new job, new career, new, possibly a new home. There is a, you know, there is, this has kind of that, this kind of has that romantic, let's, let's leap before you look. The page of earth is going to look before you leap. So while this is this is kind of like, oh, yes, I've been waiting for this moment, this is kind of like, okay, let's look at the moment a little bit more carefully. There is, a, there is this excitement with the page of water. Somebody's wanting to, somebody wants to hire you. Somebody wants to steal you. Somebody, you know, not in a weird, creepy way, but somebody wants to, somebody ad admires what you do and brings to the table. Again, this is the page of earth. This is one of those those very, okay, let's see. Let's look at the deal. Let's look at the offer. Now, if it is a job, remember, you can always negotiate. And how you do that, people will ask, well, how do I negotiate? So they offer you uh, $10 an hour, and you want 15 You say, oh, I am so excited to be working for you. I can't wait to start, but I do want, I do want to talk about the money. And I do want to talk about, you know, I was expecting more money. And then they'll say, well, what were you expecting? Sometimes I'll, I would say, or I would, I would you know, um, mentor people and say, well, what is, the, um, what is the most? I want, you know, and I've even said that I'm expecting the most you can offer. If they say, well, 10 is the most, then you can say, well, I was kind of thinking more 15. And if they say, no, 10 is the most, then you choose, you choose. Anyway, that's an aside. That's an aside. The pages... This one wants to look, wants to leap before they leap. They look. This one will kind of hold you back a little bit to, so that you can at least check out the deal. Check out the, um, you know, wh what am I going into? What am I going into? Scholarly, dependable, patient, successful. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. I love that energy. I do love it. Again, this one, okay, just, just, you know, it's flattering. This one's a flattering energy. Just, you know, use the logic, which you will, you will, you know, and you can, you can still go and talk to your friends and say, oh, yes, they wanted me, or yes, he, that person was flirting with me, and that's all fun and games, like I said, but keep your head, keep your head during this all. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? for our Sagittariuses. What else do we have for our Sagittariuses? Here we go. What else do we have for our Sagas? Sagas, Sagas, Sagas. Ooh, deception and envy. Deception and envy. So this would be, what would this be? I think this is a blue card. So this would be the Seven of Swords. 
Seven has a divine protection, though, so you have to understand that. So while this might have deception and envy, that there is a divine guidance over you with this. Now, this is the Seven of Swords. This is the one where I tell you that, you know, that guy, is, he's grabbing all the swords. And this is where, it's not Sneaky Snake, though Sneaky Snake, it is Sneaky Snake, but it's not. This is where Deception and Envy, they're like, oh, look over there. Don't look over here. They're trying to distract you. They're trying to keep you off your game. They're trying to keep you off balance. And they're also trying to create doubt. Remember, the source of it's coming from their deception and their envy. Okay? Just remember that. But there is a divine um, guidance over you with that divine seven. Okay, so we have a six, seven, a seven, six. Here we go. Let's see what else we might have. Angels of Abundance, what else would you like to say? What would you like to say to our Sagittariuses? What would you like to say to our Sagittarius? This one is reversed. Employment change. Well, this looks like, now this could be a promotion or it could be a complete change. Your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passion, and, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. I like that. Again, go, 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 go. Okay, what crystal or energy for my Sagittarius is? What do we have here? What crystal or energy? What do we have? Crystal or energy for my Sagittarius is? Oh, yeah. If, if, there is a, if there is a new job or something coming your way, try not to talk about it because this person's giving me a headache. Okay, here we go. Pyrite. Good change of fortune. Success. Renewed focus leadership okay now i said i would in the um, overview i said i'd use the angels answers answer angels angel answers um radley valentine but i'm going to say remember don't make life decisions on this this is fun this one's more fun okay and you know i, I the reason i say it it never gives me the answers i want to hear <laughs> so, let's see <laughs> let's see oh so think of a think of a question this card popped. You ready? Big, happy changes. I love that one. Somebody else got this one, but and I think it popped for them too. I mean, it just popped out of the deck. Okay, so my Sagittarius says, big, happy changes coming. Let's claim that one. Okay, take a moment, please, to do the comments, like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. I'm posting on Rumble and YouTube now, so check that out. As always, though, my Sagittarius is always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.